Well, hello, my Scorpios. Oh, I I have mad rhymes there. I just realized that rhyme. Alrighty, we're doing your reading on this Tuesday afternoon. Sorry, I, I didn't get to you guys this morning. I just played hooky. I left town. I went up to Michigan and I took myself out. I don't even know. It's like I was driving home and next thing I know I was on the highway in a very John Mayer uh, kind of way. Okay. Alrighty, so what do we have, Scorpio? What do we have? Yes, we have Tarot of the Mystical Moments is the main deck, Five of Pentacles. This is the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. It, we have the Moon. I am putting the links to these decks in the description box. You can find the description box right below the video. I get asked it quite a bit, so I just thought I'm gonna start putting links there and it's to Amazon so you can see the decks yourself. They're not my decks. I really wish this little beauty was. It's my second one. This is my original one that's kind of beaten up. Um, I even forgot, I didn't, I forgot they has this beautiful gold foil. Look at that. Are you two, are you guys, not gold, silver. Are you guys suckers too for foil? Look at that, isn't that amazing? Okay, but anyway, back to you, Scorpio. But yeah, I am doing that. I am doing bonus reads on Sunday, top three viewed highest signs. And I just want to say thank you, Scorpio, for all the support this past year you've given me. And for all of you who are feeling my vibe, yeah, please feel free to like and subscribe. I just love you guys. All right, let's get to your reading. We have, a, like I said, a five of pentacles in the main deck, justice reverse, a death reverse. There you are in a king of wands. This doesn't feel like you. Maybe if this is you, maybe you just had a falling out with someone or there was someone you tried to obtain and maybe they're keeping you at a distance. But Justice Reverse here feels like a breakup, honestly, in a death reverse, waiting for them to maybe come back to a wands. But they're not given to it. Higher fit, Nine of Pentacles. It really feels like some of you just went through a breakup. And I am sorry if, you, if that is your story. We have the moon over here and the lovers and the Page of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. I feel like waiting for somebody to come back. Summon a Knight of Pentacles right here. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. That could just be a little small thing for somebody going through that now. And this storyline coming up can be something entirely different or it can continue. All right, my Scorpio, Sun and Rising Venus. If you are Scorpio, no Scorpio. Feel like being a Scorpio with Scorpios? I am so glad you guys are here. I am, I am, I am. What do the Scorpios need to know? What do the Scorpios need to know? Look at that, Five of Cups, it's your energy. It feels like she is not sure, should I stay or should I go? She's in her emotions, she's looking at the shore. She's still floating by memories, you know? Ace of Swords reverse, and then the Nine of Cups. All right, Scorpio, somebody's in their emotions out there. What's the general energy for my Scorpios? What's the general energy for my Scorpios? What is the general energy? What is the general energy? What is the general energy for Scorpio? What is it? The sun reverse. Hopelessness. Lack of faith. Okay. What is, what's influencing it? What's influencing the sun reverse Leo energy? What's influencing it? What is influence in it? What is influence in it? The two of wands reverse, making that decision. Or somebody's not, I feel like somebody's not making a decision. Or it was a decision that you, that put you in this energy because it didn't go in your favor. Two of wands reverse, Aries energy. What's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What is it for my Scorpios? What is it? What is it? It is the page of wands. I feel if you had a breakup recently, maybe you found that your ex is now maybe out there and dating other people. You know, that never feels good. Page of Wands, maybe they're, you kind of knew they were dating, but now they're kind of official with somebody for somebody out there. What is in the past? What's in the past for my Scorpios? What's in the past? What's in the past? What's in the past? The death card, something was over. And it's your energy. What's in, on your mind? What's on Scorpio's mind? What's on Scorpio's mind? What is on Scorpio's mind? The star reverse. That's like a long, that's Aquarian energy. We have you. We have three kings being shown here. We have the king of cups, which is you. The king of wands, which is Leo. And the king of swords, which is 
Aquarian. Four of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles reverse. I honestly feel some of you are really holding on to this energy. I know it's females on the card, but it could be a male too. Um, the Devil reverse and the Nine of Pentacles reverse. And the Four of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Cups reverse. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for whoever's going through this. What is in the near future? What is in the near future? And remember with the sun, I said lack of, like lack of faith. That's the sun reverse too. It's a lack of hope that something's going to happen. Losing hope in a situation. What is in the near future? And what I feel like is somebody's losing hope or lost hope that this person's coming back. And I do feel like it's all because this feels like a page of swords, even though it's a page of wands with the, with the eye. You have your eye on somebody, but I feel like it was already over. What is in the near future for my Scorpios? What is in the near future? What is in the near future? What is it? The lovers reverse. It's not coming back. Four of swords reverse and then nine of pentacles reverse. Devil reverse, queen of pentacles reverse, queen of swords reverse, and the three of wands still waiting. Some of you just know this is your person. You really know this is your person. You love them in spite of all their misgivings, in spite of, because I keep seeing the Nine of Pentacles reverse, which is not, this is feeling depleted. The energy is feeling depleted. But I, I don't even know how happy your relationship was when you were with them. But maybe they were just your person. They were your other half. And it's like, what do I do now? Look at this. We have a major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, and a major arcana. It's six cards and four of them are majors, which is a major thing in somebody's life. Plus, if you take this, now we have the moon, which is another and another major arcana. Somebody's really in their, somebody's just really connected to someone they can no longer have. Either that's you, Scorpio, about someone or that's someone about you. If you are a Scorpio who's clearly moved on, maybe your past person is not too fond that you have moved. Not about fondness. I feel like it, it's somebody really depressed. And I don't want to make light of it because it's serious, you know. The sun reverse and the two of wands reverses, that's, that's some heavy depression going on. With the lovers, the star reverse, it's, it's somebody's in a dark night of their soul here. What is the sun reverse and the two of wands reverse for our Scorpios? I want to give Scorpio a hug. What is this? Sun reverse and the two of wands reverse. Aries and Leo, fire signs. But the fires went out. And the sun reverse again. This is somebody who just, gosh, this feels heavy. You know, tarot is a spectrum. I got to get my spectrum here, my rainbow. Like SpongeBob says, it's, you know, it's, it's like this. So some people over here is just sad. They really wanted this. It didn't come together. It may not have even been a long-term thing. It's something they really wanted. And it's just like, crap, they moved on. I feel like this is still about watching them moved on. And you still, there's a part of you still waiting, hoping that maybe that's not going to work out and they're still going to come back. And then we have on this side of the spectrum where somebody's literally, I don't even want to say it. They're just really, really, really depressed. They can't stop watching their social media. They can't stop looking at their pictures. They can't stop replaying the memories in their head. They are really, really stuck. The star reverse is lack of hope. Not just, and I, when I say that, it's not just that this relationship's not coming back. It's lack of hope in general, especially when you have the sun reverse and the lovers reverse. They're disconnected. They feel untethered from themselves. This person somehow is going to solve it. If that is true, Scorpio, if this is your story, when you had this person, are you telling me that all these cards would have been upright? Because something tells me they still weren't. Nobody leaves a happy situation. And if this person was the end all be all to your happiness, the key to your happiness, then you would have been really, really happy with them. But I don't think you were. Three of Cups and the Empress Reverse, two separate energies. I think this person's like in the sun and this person's in the, in the night, in the darkness. Okay, what is this Page of Wands reason for the reading? Why are we all here today? It's the Page of Wands, the fire. What is this? Page of Wands. Reason for the reading. Why is this here? It's the Page of Cups reverse because they're not talking to you. 
because the love is gone. The, the, and I honestly feel somebody's replaying this in their head when you first met, how good it was. And guys, if this is your story, there's, there's two, two ways really to get out of this energy. It's not about breaking, it's not about, um, it's not about finding some voodoo high priestess to sit there and say, oh my gosh, I'm cursed. I'm never going to get past this energy. I need somebody to cut the soul bond. We have this, we have this contract that was written 800 years ago that we're fulfilling and now I'm destitute to be lonely forever and ever and ever. And no guys, it's not, it's really not, it's not that bad. It's really not, believe it or not, it's not that bad. See the, the here's the thing when, when, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people saying, yeah, that's my twin flame. People use twin flame as a tool to act like it's out of their hands. Because you, when you look at a situation, you want to see it exactly as it is. Scorpio, I feel like, did I do this reading for you last week already? I did it for another sign. I'm feeling deja vu going on here. But you want to look at a situation exactly as it is. Not better than it is, not worse than it is. I feel like in this moment, somebody's looking at their memories better than they are, better than it really is. They're saying, my gosh, I really, this was, this was my person and I'm never going to find someone like this and I'm destitute for loneliness and I just want to end it all. And then we have the situation where you're seeing it as worse than it is. If you see it, the situation worse than it is, then you act like you are powerless to change it. Then you're just saying, nope, it's a twin flame. It's God's destiny for me to walk this earth completely broken forever and ever. No, you have to see it as it is. You have to look at what it was that kept you here, what it was that released you. Why did that happen? What was the purpose of this? And there's two ways. I I, I mean, I'm, I implore you to do this. Stop this, first of all, page of wands. You have to do a detox from this person's energy. If you were a drug addict, Scorpio, there is absolutely no place on this earth that, in a drug rehab that would allow you to start doing drugs on Saturday afternoons. Kind of like where you get a day off to, to, to hit heroin and then come back on Sunday. No, detox means complete removal of the item that the person's addicted to. Somebody's addicted to this energy. And I feel like it's not the, when you had them, I don't even think it was that powerful. It's because once you lost them and I feel like you may feel like you're left behind over here because you're watching somebody in a three of cups already, two of cups, woo, it gets worse and a justice right here, a full fledged commitment. And you feel left behind. You feel like you're holding the emotional bag and you can't heal from it. Why they're over here partying it up. It's tough. I'm not making light of it. It's tough. And everybody's gone through this, but the best thing you can do is stop watching. You have to cut them out of your system. You have to stop looking at photos. You have to stop their social media. You have to remove it. You have to stay off all social media. If that's what it takes for you to stop seeing them, that's what it takes. After about seven days, you're going to start to feel yourself again. These cards are start going to be like this, but you have to not look at them for seven days. Then the possibility is going to be like this by 30 days. I promise you, Scorpio, you will be flipped around again. Life will be, you'll be in the sun, but you have to get this person out of your energy. That's it. It's making the choice. So one is you need to do a detox from their energy and two is action. Action is the answer to everything. It's not, it's not believing it. It's not dreaming it. It's not manifesting it. It's action. You have to, you have to change this energy up. So when you, when you find yourself thinking of this person, you get up, scream, clap your hands, count to five, change your brain. Cause you, it takes five seconds to change your brain cycle like that. So you, you scream, do something because you literally need to, you now need to re control your brain. You need to reprogram your brain. Your brain is a computer. It just needs something else to, to be programmed over it. Remember the old, if some of you are old enough to know VHS cassettes or VHS, yes, but the tape cassettes, I used to record songs and you would record over and over and over the song. You have to record something over this memory. Okay. Your brain needs to record something over it. So when you start thinking of it, five seconds, count to five, do your ABCs, do five jumping jacks. Oh my God. Do something that would take your breath away. Run, do something. And amazingly, the energy goes. 
I, I promise you it does. Then you're gonna start to see, when you, as you do this, you're gonna see how much control you actually have. That this isn't a destined event, this person coming in, yes, but you are going to start to have your control taken back. You're going to start pulling your energy back and these cards are going to start flipping upright and you're probably going to have your own lovers coming really soon because that's how you get out of these things. But it starts with stop watching them, okay? Man, this has really turned into a little TED Talk. I apologize. What is the death card in the past for my Scorpios? What is the death card in the past for my Scorpios? What is the death card in the past? What is the death card in the past? At three of cups reverse. And I don't even think you trust this person. That's the thing. And I don't even think you were that happy with them. Three of cups reverse. And I feel like they dumped your cup out for somebody else's. Ten of cups right there. I actually feel like this is the disillusionment. I think they changed your cup out for somebody else's. I, you know, and I'm not saying they're a player. Not everybody in these readings are players. Some people fall out of love. Some people fall in love with somebody else. It does happen. Doesn't mean they're a player. It just means they changed their mind and people have a right to change their mind. You will change your mind many times about other people as well. I feel like the 10 of cups is your disillusionment that it really, now that this person's left your life and you have to let them go, this memory you have is of a happy one. It's, I don't feel like it's a, it's, I'm not saying there was like no happiness, but I feel like you probably were in this state a lot of times with this person waiting for them to throw in their three of pentacles, waiting to throw in their three of pentacles, waiting for them to throw in your, you brought seven of pentacles to this relationship. All they needed was to throw in three and you got 10. Waiting and what were they doing? Three of cups reverse. They were too busy living it up. Too busy living it up. Is this a person you really want back? Is this a story you really want to relive again? Because we have judgment reverse and the emperor. This is you taking control. Saying, yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles reverse. That it really was never going to be like this. Not with this person, but I can still have this somewhere else. And that is going to be your story. Because this is what you're going to be into. I and Maybe within a month, a page of Pentacles is ready to put yourself back out there again. And saying, yeah, you're going to go in to do some healing in the hermit mode, realizing why did I think this person was my wish fulfillment at all? And who is, speaking of, where is this person? And then you're going to accept this Hierophant Reverse for what it is. And then, boom, 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 Ace of Wands. Oh, but look at here. Look how this always happens. Then this person, eventually, you're going to be in the story where the past comes back because Tarot loves that story. It really does. That's going to be you avoiding this person. That's going to be your new story in about six months because you're going to be in this. But I feel like some of the Scorpios are in the dark night of the soul and I do apologize for that. I'm not trying to make light of it. I'm annoyed by, I'm not annoyed. I shouldn't say that. It's just sometimes these, enter, it, like in this case, I don't feel like it was a player. I, it's, it's, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean annoyed. It, it's really not this storyline. It's more this storyline that got me in the near future where they then they come back and disrupt your peace. So this is the, the star. It's funny because now I'm clarifying the star upright. Remember it was reverse. We have the moon reverse, the knight of swords reverse, and the death reverse. What I feel like this is, is why we're going into the star upright is you're gonna be illuminated. You're bringing order to chaos over here. The Knight of Swords Upright is actually, sorry, it's the wrong one. The Knight of Swords Upright is a very chaotic card. It is. It's kind of like when somebody doesn't think and they just rush right in. Maybe you weren't thinking you rushed right into this relationship without really asking the proper questions. Are you A, married? Are you B, have seven girlfriends or boyfriends? Are you like, I mean, do you even work? Um, do you still live in your mom's basement? What is, I mean, did you pay for those shoes? I mean, you know, the important kind of questions. And so the Knight of Swords doesn't think he just rushes in. So, and I feel like that is why in this relationship you could have been in the moon because the questions weren't asked previously, which, you know, no shame. A lot of people been through those situations. But why we're in the star is because you're starting to ask the questions of yourself. And that is why the Knight of Swords reverse is really bringing order to chaos. You're getting focused now. And I like to think of the swords. I'm When I create my own tarot deck, I swear I'm going to do this. I'm going to, you know how there's a page of swords, 
there's a knight of swords, there's a queen of swords, there's a king of swords. There needs to be somebody between a knight and a queen. And that's this guy. The reverse is one and a half. <laughs> it's the half. He's almost to the queen when he's reversed. He's getting that clarity. He's finally getting the clarity like the queen has. And the queen, you know, she's pretty clear, but the king is super clear. The knight is not clear when he's upright. When he's reversed, he's a lot more clear on the problem. And so what he's doing is trying to start to focus, realizing you can't just rush into things because, well, you know what? Shit will fall apart. So he, he's, he takes a break. The horse, the horse in this um, card actually signifies your own body. So in this relationship, you could be abs absolutely exhausted by constantly throwing in your seven of pentacles, trying to make this person happy. And that is why it's reversed because the body's tired. The mind needs to rest. It's within this rest state, within that hermit state that we saw here is when the answers really will come to you, where this illumination comes to you, why you actually feel stuck. And I honestly feel what's going to be illuminated to you is that you actually dodged a bullet. You didn't pick up a 10 of cups. You picked up a ten of wands and it was so far in the dark in this moon energy you thought you were picking up a ten of cups and there were a ten of wands and god says you know what it's time to put it down and you thought you were putting the ten of cups down but you're actually putting the burden down you know it's quite beautiful okay that's what i'm feeling on that give me another card for the lovers even though these all came out in my messy state look at that i know it's all cut off but Give me another card for the lovers in the near future. It was actually reversed, but you know what, Scorpio? It's my table. It's my rules. He's staying up because I feel like if you're able to pick this star up in the next 30 days by doing a detox, if that's your story, you get a lover's upright because you, my dear, will be connected to yourself. You might even be connected to a new energy. What is the lovers here in the near future for my Scorpios? What is the lovers? And then, okay, there is a lot. There is a lot. We have, look at that. I told you, look at this. All four queens, that was fast. That was a lot of fast healing. Empress is, is you know what the number one lesson you're gonna learn? Don't throw your seven of pentacles in. It needs to be 50-50. You know, the six of pentacles is supposed to be equal give and take if you ignore every single drawing on those cards, which is so obscene of breadcrumbing. But no, it should be equal give and take, not you give seven and they may give three, but I, let me go out with my friends first and let me go pick up somebody, you know, at the bar and I'm going to, you know, lie about that. You know, it's that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's a lot of, with the moon energy here, there was a lot of things that your intuition was saying something's not right, but you may uh, were explaining it away, rationalizing it away. We're not doing that anymore with the Empress. The Empress one doesn't chase. She doesn't chase anyone. She sits there on her fluffy flowery ass and sits there and you know what she's protecting? See how she's sitting on that, that heart? Yeah, that heart used to have three swords in it. She pulled those swords out. She healed herself. She got her own self-worth because there's one fact in this life. There's one fact in this life, Scorpio. Nobody is going to save you. Nobody. Nobody's going to come to save you. Nobody is going to come and help you heal this. Nobody is going to come. If you are waiting to start your own business, there's nobody that's going to come and do your business plan for you. There's nobody that's going to come. If you're trying to lose weight, there's nobody that's going to come and put a lock on your refrigerator. There's nobody. If you're trying to find a job, there's nobody that's going to go and turn off your TV and push, push you out of the house. You know, you have to parent yourself. You have to be responsible for yourself. And I feel like that is the clue here. With the Empress, she's just like, she literally saved herself. She's the hero in her own story. She healed herself. She realized how strong she was by, th by pulling those swords out. She realizes how brave she is by facing her own truth of why she let this in and how strong she is because she's never going to let this in again and how loving she is because she's not afraid to love again. That's why she's all four queens. Her four queens are up and outright. And she's too high vibrational to ever let this come on her radar again. Will this person try down the line? You better believe it. That's what this is about. But will you care? No, because the only thing you're holding on to is yourself, the Four of Pentacles. This is the beginning. You don't have to start from one to build your confidence. I feel like you got a head start here, but it really does start with taking a good look at what you were really holding on to. 
what you're really, really holding on to, which I don't think it was all that grand. I really don't. I really don't. What is this? Six of Wands reverse and the King of Swords reverse hidden by a Three of Swords is underneath it. Yeah, I just, I, I, I feel Scorpio, you really are going into a great energy, but some of you are in this dark night of the soul energy right now. It's tough. I'm like I said, I'm not making light of it. I'm just, you know, I, I just can't sugarcoat it. I really can't. And some of you are trying to pretend this was a 10 of cups. And it was a twin flame and it, you know I'm, I'm chained and i'm doomed I'm, I'm stuck why this person has a happy life and that's the stuff that really pisses me off because it's, it's simply not true it's a story to tell yourself to procrastinate the pain a little bit longer because inevitably the effort needs to come in the action needs to come in to say you know what i need to really look at this i need to turn the lights on which is what the moon reverse is turn the lights on and see the situation for exactly what it, what, what it is. It was never a 10 of cups. It was a 10 of wands, which he's buried here because you were buried in this. And if you want that one, if you want those 10 of wands back, I'm sure this person will be glad to throw that on your back again. But hopefully by the time they come back around, you're going to be upright here. You're probably going to be connected to something new and you definitely will already be healed from this. Because the Queen of Swords and the Three of Swords reverse, this is a person who may forgive you one day, but she's never going to forget what you did to her. She just isn't. That's why she's upright. But because your Queen of Swords is upright, Scorpio, is why you are an Empress. If your Queen of Swords wasn't upright, upright, none of the kings and queens would exist. It's only because your Queen of Swords and everybody who, anybody who's successful, anybody who has anything, anybody who has that confidence, it's only because they stand up for themselves. They don't allow people to use them or take advantage of them. They have a good heart and it's not saying they won't, it, people won't try. They just won't allow it to continue. They'll, they'll cut that off really, really fast. And you will have love. You will be connected, but it's for the person who actually deserves you, not the person who, you know, you want somebody who builds you up, not tears your energy down like this. What did I say about the Six of Pentacles? You know, you just don't want that. You don't want to be begging for somebody's attention, time and attention. And when they have time, they finally come around to you. All right. I'm sorry, Scorpio. This is really becoming a, bab, a blab fest. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I um, apologize for anybody who's going through this. It's really tough. I understand that. Everybody's been through it, but the people who've gone through it, they have survived it. So I implore for the people who've gone through this, and if you're still with me, you know, instead of saying, this is my story, add and I survived it. You know what I mean? Because that's what the people need to hear. They don't need to say, oh, I hate this story. When will it end? Add that you survived this, that you got over it and you're already focused on new love because do you remember when you were in this energy? You thought you would never get out of it. You thought you would never heal from this person and you would never find love like this again. And guess what? You got over it. So that is what people need to hear. <sighs> I'm just so preachy. I am. I apologize. I think I need to go make coffee. <laughs> I need to be enough with the tea and I need to get some caffeine. This is decaf. All right, my Scorpios, have a great week. Take care.